Well, good afternoon, Jared. How are you? Great. How are you? I'm well, thanks. It's good to be with you and to see you virtually for our uh, new Tulsa Symphony Musician Moment. We appreciate you participating in this. And uh, so this is a great chance for our uh, Tulsa Symphony family to get to know more about our musicians. And so you are a tuba player. I am a tuba player, that's true. Is that is that what you're officially called, a tuba player? Are you a tubaist? Are you a tuba-er? Actually, believe it or not, like I think in the 80s, there was a huge worldwide vicious debate over whether or not we were called tubaists or just tubists. Ah. I think tubist won. Okay. Um, I think it's because it's easier for us to spell. <laughs> we're not that bright. So. Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> funny. That's funny. Uh, but, you know, now that you said that, though, I I, uh, I don't know that I've ever heard one referred to as a tubist. Yep. That's, um, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I usually say tuba player. Mm -hmm. I feel a little pretentious saying tubist, but I think technically it's tubist. Okay, very good. I've learned something here. Yeah. And I bet our audience has too, so that's good. Um, tell me, my friend, how did you come to play the tuba? Um, well, believe it or not, um, I have no musicians in my family. Really? I, did, I, I, I literally went to college unable to identify the notes on a piano the keys on a piano so okay um, i mean obviously i could already play the tuba by then but uh, i didn't grow up with any musical instruction i played baseball and mm -hmm. did normal, normal kid stuff sure and, um my brother who's three years older played saxophone okay and uh, don't hold that against us but <laughs> i it, won't it's okay so, so i went to one of his band concerts and the band director was super aggressive um lady wonderful band director and she just stopped me in the hall and said look let me see your teeth and i guess i have messed up teeth because um she's like you're gonna play tuba um huh. and so i i said okay guess i'm gonna play tuba yes you know, so. i was 12 years old so i was just kind of frozen and so i played tuba by her direction and there we went and there you went so now correct me if i'm wrong now a tuba is considered a um a solo instrument in the orchestra. Yeah, we're a principal instrument. So yeah. I'm, I'm the only... There's a few pieces. Uh, Strauss, Richard Strauss, late romantic composer, uh, used two tubas quite a bit. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Berlioz, uh, Hector Berlioz, who's a very early 20th century composer, mm -hmm. often wrote for two tubas. But actually, he didn't really write for two tubas. He wrote for Ophiclide and in two different keys and so he would write two parts for the alpha glide and use two players playing different keyed instruments to kind of make up for the inconsistencies of pitch on each instrument and so when those got orchestrated okay. into, into modern orchestras um, it became two tubas well there you go so, uh, but other than those rare occasions um, one tuba yeah and so I'm a principal principal solo voice and sometimes that's really cool sometimes it's a little more nerve-wracking i was going to ask okay you sort of went there where i was going to go with it so uh do you like having all that attention i, I mean i think i do i don't know that the tuba gets a lot of attention but you know especially well, it's, when... it's underrated i i think people sure. people always make fun of tubas <laughs> and i i don't know why because they really are important sure well and it's one of those things where if you're great you may not really get noticed but if you're not great, everyone else's job becomes very difficult. Um, so I like to, I kind of take my own, I guess, my own pride in um, trying to m make everyone's job easier without being noticed. So very rarely that's, that's do you nice. get approached after the concert and someone's like, wow, tuba. But um, I, I feel like the whole ensemble can sound like a completely different ensemble and different level based on the quality of the tuba playing. Maybe I'm biased, but... Well, like you might be slightly, but I think you're right. And thank goodness you're a great tuba player because our symphony sounds so good when you're playing. So there you go. Right. You're making it work, yeah. man. Uh, how, how long have you been with the Tulsa Symphony? I My audition for the Tulsa Symphony was January 2011. Okay. So um, I guess what is that? 
coming up on 10 years. Yes, I mean, you've been with us a long time. I was 12 when I auditioned. So. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Weren't we all? Yes, yes. We're all getting older by the minute. But uh, no, so you've, you've been with us now, uh, as you say, almost 10 years. So obviously, I mean, you are a key part of the Tulsa Symphony family. Um, you obviously enjoy what you do. Uh, if if you weren't a tuba player, what would you be doing? Um, my wife is a real estate agent. Right. And so we've spent a lot of time um, remodeling and mm-hmm. flipping houses and doing rentals. So if something happened and I couldn't play anymore, or um, you know, for some other reason, if I were doing something else, I think I would probably just join her and. We would uh, maybe you would see us on HGTV doing a oh. real estate fire. I like that. Okay, very cool. Very cool. Um, so, so uh, related to that, then when when you were when you were twelve years old and getting ready to audition, um, <laughs> uh, but did you always did you think you would have a life as a musician when you were little? No. Okay. No. In, um, or younger. I can, yeah, I can remember being in high school and. I think it was when like the Jurassic Park movies were coming out, mm-hmm. and our thinking uh, science archaeology would be really cool. Um, <clears throat> so I like I think those. It was, yeah, yeah. So I think it was like second half of my high school uh, when I started, you know, getting better, having more fun, learning about orchestra playing and orchestra excerpts, and doing all state. So, did you always want to be a tuba player when you were younger, growing up? Um, no, I didn't really even know that that was a job. Honestly, um, you know, second half of high school, um, I started getting more into learning what it was like to play in an orchestra, um, you know, get a couple small gigs here and there, which is a big deal when you're young or sure. whatever. So, you know, it just, uh, I auditioned for college and got some opportunities and just sort of went with it from mm-hmm. there. I, I've always been, I've always, I think fundamentally what's important for someone like think sounded, you know, um, I've always enjoyed practicing. I'm happy just to sit in a room and just play because it's, I, lo- I like how it sounds. So, sure. you know, I think if you come at it uh, organic from enjoying doing it and doing it a lot, then it's not really going to be um, work. Kind of like the old adage, you know, work is work no matter what you're doing, but um, sure. I, I enjoy practicing. I enjoy playing. I enjoy uh, just the sound and making the sound and so like that. So kind of what's what's currently uh, obviously you just obviously you can play from memory and do a lot of things. But what's currently on your music stand when you're just uh, like right now? Sure. Yeah, I spend a lot of time kind of doing fundamentals, and you know that's the that's the bulk of my practice. Is, okay. Like we talked about, tuba's job is not really to be super technical and impressive, but to establish great, great tone and great pitch. And so, a lot of my playing revolves around keeping those things established. Um, but uh, I also do enjoy stealing other people's music. So, um, okay. I uh, there's not you know tuba was not invented until almost 1900, the mid 1850s. Right. right. A- a lot of the great composers didn't write for tuba, so right. uh, I steal a lot of French horn music. Okay, there's a, there's a really nice piece um, by Franz Strauss called the Nocturne, and it's uh, just a fun piece I like to play uh, that was written for French horn. Okay, and so that's what's on my stand. Very cool, very cool. Well, I know you're also going to uh, to share a piece with us today, so. Um, what what are you thinking about entertaining our audience with? I was going to do this one. Are you I really? Gonna, I was going to play you some horn music. Some sweet, some beautiful uh, melodic horn horn music. Okay, all right. Well, uh, we the audience will sit back and enjoy that. So I want to thank you for your time and sharing it with us today. All right, I appreciate you talking to me. And there's not a lot to do these days in this uh, climate. So as you see, I sort of enjoying the nice weather and I was I wait, like or, I like your backdrop. I like I like where you are. <laughs> so you to keep get back to regular life. That's right. That's right. Well you keep enjoying that and we'll listen to some great music and we'll look forward to talking to you again. All right. Appreciate it. Uh-huh. take care now. Bye. Bye bye.
Oh. Mm-hmm. 